Hello and thanks for watching this video on Acumatica 2019 R2, a series of new features. In this video, we're going to talk about the new ability to accrue an amount on a non-stock item as soon as it's invoiced. Ordinarily, when a non-stock item is sold, there's no cost to it. The cost is done if you expense it on the vendor side, if you buy it through an AP bill or you use a purchase order or something like that. But now with this new feature, we have the ability to accrue a cost while invoicing it. We accrue costs to determine our profitability. And also it gives us the ability to have a GL account to keep a running total of those amounts. So for example, if you're using a liability account for this labor item, it could be something like payroll liabilities and wages payable, where you accrue those liabilities and then when you actually perform payroll, you can debit this account and credit your expense account for the actual payroll. So this gives us a lot of flexibility to keep track of these non-stock items, something we couldn't do before. So let's take a look. First off, you can see under our price cost information, we have a new section called cost accrual. When we check this, we get a couple of options here. One of them is to automatically calculate the cost based on the sales price, a percentage of it. We can also use a markup percentage, which with the markup percentage, we'll use this value here. Or we can use our standard cost. So if we put our cost here and update it under actions update cost, that'll be the standard cost that we use. Now under our GL accounts, as shown before, we have the ability to pick any accrual account or sub account that we need to hit every time this gets invoiced. Now, if we create an invoice, you'll notice a couple of things here. We'll pick this non-stock item that we looked at before, quantity one, one hour, at $80. And we've added some fields, some brand new fields here to show us the cost accrual, what the basis is, and the expense accrual account. And if you have the rights, you have the ability to change these values on the fly. So currently $28 is the calculated percentage of sales based on the 35% that I selected. But this is very helpful because now you can keep these columns there and you can update them when you need to as you're creating your invoices. So let's release this. And if we go to our financial details and take a look at the batch, you can see now that we've credited payroll liabilities, wage payable for $28. And to balance this out, we've also debited cost of goods, salaries, and wages for $28. So this will help us with our profitability as well. Now, if we go into another screen here, and I like to use this a lot, our sales profitability analysis. What you see here is you also get the cost shown up here. So you can calculate your margins against either an entire invoice or a single line item. So another added benefit. Now additionally, these costs can also hit a project. So if we had selected a project here, we can now track our project costs simply by using a non-stock item. So we get that benefit also. So that's it. Now we have the ability to accrue costs using a non-stock item. A very highly requested feature, and now we have it. Thanks so much for watching this series of new features in Acumatica 2019 R2. Have a great day.